Hello friends. This problem is related to concept of perfect square and it says let p is an integer such that 9p square minus 56 is a perfect square. Then you have to find all possible values of p. So how will you solve this problem? So whenever you have a perfect square kind of thing you can try factorization. So in this problem also I will use concept of factorization to solve this problem. So the number is 9p square minus 56 and this number is a perfect square. This is given in the problem that this is a perfect square. This means this can be written as a square of some number let us say q. So this can be written as 9p square minus 56 is equals to some number and let us say this number is q then this is q square. We can also rewrite this is 3p whole square and minus 56 is equals to q square. Now let us take q square to the left hand side and 56 to the right hand side. So this becomes 3p whole square minus q square this is equals to 56. Now this is a square minus b square. If you remember the formula a square minus b square is nothing but a plus b times a minus b. So let us use that. So we can write 3p plus q and 3p minus q. So this is the product of two numbers. So 56 is product of this number and this number. Let us say what is the sum of these two numbers. Let us say this is a and this is b. So what is the sum of these two numbers. So sum in this case will be 3p plus q plus 3p minus q which is equals to 6p. Which is sum is a factor of 6. So what we can say from this I can conclude that sum of these two numbers sum is factor of 6. Factor of 6. What I mean to say that let us try to understand. So you need to have two numbers 3p plus q and 3p minus q and product of these two number is 56. So how many possibility you have for 56 you can have 1 times 56 you can have 2 times 28 4 times 14 7 times 8 and similarly negative numbers also minus 1 times minus 56 minus 2 times minus 28 minus 4 times minus 14 minus 7 times minus 8. Now see what are the sums in this case sum is 57 in this case sum of these two factors is 30 18 15 and in this case minus 57 minus 30 and this is minus 18 and this is minus 15. So these are the sum. Now see as I said sum is a factor of 6 this means sum should be divisible by 6. So this means this is not a possibility because 57 is not divisible by 6. This is possible, this is possible this is not possible, this is not possible and this is also not possible. So you have four possibility and for each possibility you can find p. What is p? Basically sum is equals to 6p as I have shown this, this is equals to 6p. Sum is equals to 6p, this means sum divided by 6 is equals to p. So p is equals to, in this case sum is 30. 30 by 6 this is 5. In this case sum is 18. So 18 by 6 
that is basically 3. Now in this case minus 30 by 6 that is minus 5 and in this case minus 18 by 6 which is equals to minus 3. So in this case you can say the possible values for p is plus minus 5 plus 5 minus 5 plus minus 3. So four possible values of p are possible in this case. So I hope you enjoyed this problem and if you enjoy please share with your friends, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.